Kim Cleggett, Chief Officer of this vessel, the Baja Mar Express, 118 metre high speed passenger ferry for the Canary Islands. Behind me, we have our captain for the day, Captain John Prince, and uh, between the two of us, as well as six other crew we have on board, we will be carrying out the sea trials of this vessel and making sure that it's uh, honky dory for uh, the people over in the Canary Islands once they take control of it. Today we are going out into the deep water hoping to find a bit of swell so that we can test the motion control. The vessel has uh, trim tabs, it has uh, aft T-Max foils, it also has a forward T-foil for the motion control. IMS have been Austal's go-to sea trials personnel for the last 30 years. We started in the industry down here in Fremantle when other shipyards as well as Austal were just building and uh, we've grown up with the aluminium shipbuilding industry, we've grown up with the systems integrated into all of Austal's vessels. The sea trials we've been doing recently on this vessel the last couple of days is the integration of the ship systems and especially when you're manoeuvring on this vessel, 118 metres, we, we have about 32,000 kilowatts of power with uh, four water jets out the back, twin bow thrusters up the front. Safety is obviously a top priority, and particularly at sea trials, we trial vessels to make sure that everything works on board the vessel. As part of the deck crew during sea trials, our main role is the safety of the shipyard crew on board the vessel and to ensure the vessel gets back safely into port. As well as the motion control trials today, we will also do manoeuvring trials, which is the, the specific characteristics of this boat, how fast it turns, what the turning circle is, how fast it stops, what the acceleration is. And these tests are done uh, to a classification society. The owners, the shipyard, and everybody knows it's built to law and it does what it is supposed to do. So as part of the commissioning of this type of craft, there is a significant trial which is called the light raft deployment trial. In this particular vessel we have 1,200 passengers. We have to prove that we can get safely to get those passengers into life rafts in a certain amount of time. As the International Maritime Services team is able to help conduct those trials and make sure everything goes smoothly. When we're doing sea trials, we relocate. And once we get there, we are there for the shipyards. They might want to go out at 3 o'clock in the morning the next morning to make up for those delays. We're there. Flexibility is what is required when doing sea trials on a new vessel. Our experience on these boats um, has been going back, as I say, 30, 30 odd years. So if something does go wrong, we are onto it. And we not only know the electronics, the engineering, but we also know their safety features and all their uh, safety equipment. So we'll get things done, we'll iron out the kinks and um, it, it'll make it a smooth operation for these guys here, and that's what they ask of us. Stress, same as uh, driving a plane, I suppose. It's uh, taking off and landing, the stressful part. The rest of it's just enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs>